Plastic Reduction Denmark. Concerned about the impact of single-use plastic, a small group of volunteers was formed in 2015. This short film will explain how through gentle, creative activism we have encouraged awareness and change. I start with a poem about single-use plastics and for the sake of poetry I've named them collectively Miss Polly Mears. So here's Miss Polly Mears' tale. Let me tell you a story of a Polly I know who's causing destruction wherever she goes. In the beginning, we stood up and rejected, but she fitted right in, and so we respected. She brought answers to questions we never really had, but for her presence, we became glad. We trusted her. We made her at home with no idea how she might roam. We knew she'd be a regular land filler, but never imagining she'd be a serial killer. Each year, a million birds' lives gone, defying decomposition, Polly lives on. A hundred thousand mammals' lives too. Believe me, the stats are true. Can take a thousand years to see her go, and if you think she's finished, the answer's no. Under the microscope, she ain't gone. Polly and her toxic chemical mates, they live on. You cry, what's the answer? What's the solution? to this insane environmental pollution. But starting with something small that we can achieve, our potential is massive, if we believe. If I influence five people today, that ain't much, I hear you say, but if that five influence five each more, the numbers begin to exponentially soar. Day five, that's over 3,000 folk. Do the maths, it ain't a joke. Day six, we've got 15,000 on board. A number too big to be ignored. So in 2015, Plastic Reduction Denmark was born because Miss Polly Mears had made us forlorn. Optimism to end this destruction will create the age of plastic reduction. Community engaged, ideas exchanged, sharing simple solutions to make the change. Empowering others to take the lead, gentle conversations, planting a seed. Upcycled fabrics into bags when you shop. 37 busy bees later and we just won't stop. We gather together to eat, laugh and sew. Friendships, strengths and bags we grow. Old dunas, pillowcases, neckties and more. Borrow and return when you go to the store. For fruit and your veggies in plastic that sweat. We make bags just for you from upcycled net. So many stalls, too many to recall. Engaging folk with our bags. Sometimes change feels slow. But these bags carry seeds of change, seeds to grow. A chat with some from overseas, plastic reduction ideas travelling on the breeze. Some inspired to start a group at home. We hope these seeds of change have grown. I take my fabric bags to the supermarket.
School competitions gave mascot Freddie Finfish his name. Ed providing education to kids and adults is Fredo's aim. Filled with plastic bags, disposable cups, water bottles. The vision was clear. These single-use plastics just don't disappear. He's travelled to town and of course to the beach, hoping to maximise his reach. Fredo shares a message to wisely choose to protect our planet, not to abuse. We gathered together and went for a shop. Flash mobbed IGA to ask folk to swap. Choose to refuse a disposable bag. Now WA's got the ban, we're seriously glad. It was a pretty special day. Our efforts recognised at Queen's Baton Relay. Proud and I was feeling on high. However, in the word team, there is no I. To discourage the use of plastic bin liners, us girls just had to become designers. Quite a scandal we created when we promoted going naked. Choosing alternatives for the bin, the planet gets another win. If mummy had plastic nappies for me, when I was born back in 1533, archaeologists would find to their dismay plastic remnants in a dig today. Simple cloth nappies can be easily made. One child's use of plastic ones will have you dismayed. 2,000 nappies in just the first year. Now that's a lot of plastic that won't disappear. Balloons, what's for us a fun and a treat, are not much fun for wildlife to eat. And whilst helium filled balloons will make our voices high, that special gas has a limited supply. There is an option we can choose to cure us of our no balloon blues. Borrow and return bunting, ta-da! It's super cool for birthdays, celebrations and parties by the pool. Wash station action, cleaning cutlery and plates, whilst having a laugh and chatting with your mates. <laughs> Community always eager to voice their joy at having another choice. A reduction in landfill we can create, plus we all prefer to eat from a real plate. <laughs> Fredo the fish leads festive parades in the street, spreading our message and gifting bags to those we meet. No need to spoil the seasonal fun, plastic reduced celebrations can also be done. Creative activism is gentle. It's fun. Many more friends than foes we have won. We've had lots of laughs, much joy we have shared. We've achieved so much more than we ever had dared. So give it a go. Get up on your feet. There will be challenges that you'll meet. Whilst the winds may feel terribly slow, trust and patience, your efforts will grow. The power of passion to lead the way, the fuel to drive another day. Be sure, however, to take days of rest, to rest in the knowledge that you've done your very best. Thank you. Thank you. This is not a still camera that goes click, click. I've been filming the last five minutes. <laughs>